Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome to Dom's Media Zone. Today I'm gonna show you a quick and free way to create a thumbnail for your YouTube videos. So if you wanna create a creative thumbnail, anything you really want for a YouTube video, something that catches someone's eye for free in a pretty easy way, stay tuned and enjoy this video. I'll show you step by step on how to create your thumbnail for your YouTube videos. I hope you enjoy. <music> Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a free YouTube video thumbnail for your YouTube videos using this website called canva.com. This is a free website, you do need to register with your email address and you can then access a ton of free features on this website. I use it mainly for my YouTube thumbnail things but you can use it for a variety of things such as your logos, design cards, posters, videos, all sorts of things but for the purpose of this video we're going to use the YouTube thumbnail section. So the first thing you want to do is head over to canva.com. I will put a link to this website down in the description. Once you're here on the home page you want to see here the design anything there's a place called social media click on this little icon here and you'll be able to locate something called a youtube thumbnail click on youtube thumbnail and this opens up your workspace now to create your thumbnail you will need a screenshot of somewhere in your video that you've created so you could use yourself talking as an example or if you're doing some kind of tutorials on your computer you could use a screenshot from your tutorial now i've already captured a screenshot from one of my previous videos where i did a tutorial with some canon software so i'm going to use that as an example if you don't want to use a screenshot from your videos there's tons of kind of templates you can use that's already built into here uh, you can click on any one of them and just change the wording so for example if you did a makeup video uh, you could then click here and change the wording on this and use the picture that comes with this but we're not going to do this so I'm just going to undo that and I'm going to use my custom screenshot that I took so if you do have a screenshot head over to uploads here on the left hand side if you click uploads you want to upload images say upload media from your device and then choose the location of your screenshot so mine is here and it uploads the screenshot to the workstation so once i've got it in here i can drag it on and if i drag it to the left corner it will fill up the whole area now if i let it go this is the background of my thumbnail that i'm going to use because this thumbnail is for one of my videos where it was a tutorial now that we've got our screenshot in our working station what i want to do next is add some elements to it so if you head on here and click on elements you can pick the different shapes and sizes and frames and things that you might want to add but I'm going to keep this kind of simple so I'm going to use this square which I kind of been using for my thumbnails and it does show you here this this one's for free this one's also for free lots of them are free there are certain ones where it might ask you to pay or donate some money to use those but basically there's lots of free ones that you can use so I'm going to use a free one so if I click on it it inserted this little square shape great thing is you can move the square around with this little shape things on the edges and you can resize it as you need to so it doesn't matter at this point what color and what shape it is i'll show you how to adjust that in a moment now we're going to want to add some text to our little square so what i'm going to do is head over to the text tab and click on that over here you can pretty much select what kind of text you want to use there's different effects most of them are free like i said so that's really good and i'm just going to keep this one simple and add a heading once i've got my heading in there i can move it around and fit it in as i want so i'm going to put in my heading digital photo for and that is the name of the software that I did a tutorial on. So that's why I'm choosing this name. Now I'm going to expand it a little bit and then I'm going to adjust my square to fit my heading as well. So what I'm gonna do is just drag this down a little bit and drag that up and now i can play with the colors now that i've got my text i'm going to select my text here you can change the text kind of writing to whatever you want so you can see you can play around with the different ones that are available the ones with the crown next to it are not free all the other ones are free so there's a massive free selection on here which is really good so i'm just going to keep it simple so let's just use something like that and i want the color to be white so my text now if i click away you can see the text is white the box now needs to be resized a little bit just to fit and then i want to change the color of my box as well so if you select the box so here's the text here's the box if i select the color i can change this to whatever color i want i can make it red to pop out a bit or i could make it 
purple or whatever color it is you like let's stick to this one for now okay once you've got your text and your box together and you're happy with the color and the font and the size what you can do is then drag and select both of them and then you can click on this group button and what that does is just joins them together now so that they become like one item and you can move them around as you need now over here you'll see that you've got a little rotate button so you could actually rotate your text to make it a bit more interesting so let's do it i don't know this way and here you can as well resize the whole text as you need with the box because it now became one item so there, let's leave it like that so we've got digital photo professional 4 and now we want to include tutorial for beginners as well so once again i'm going to head over to my elements and i'm going to insert a little square and it already kept the settings from the previous one so the color stayed like our top one here just going to expand it a little bit and move it somewhere here and and once again, we're going to add some text to it and we're going to do a heading and we're going to rename this tutorial for beginners. Once we've got that part, I'm going to change the color of my box. Let's say red. That sticks out nicely. So you've got digital photo professional for tutorial for beginners. Now we're going to group this one again. And once it's grouped, you can once again play with the size okay you can adjust these things however you like once you've adjusted them and you're happy with how it looks so for example this looks all right to me what i can do now is click on the download button over here in the top and here it's going to ask you what file type you want to use so they suggest using a png you can use a jpeg or whatever quality you want it to be uh, let's just keep it as png because it says high quality image so it keeps the quality and what we're going to do is click on download and you can see it starts downloading your youtube icon here now it does say you can refer friends get some premium photos blah 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 just cancel that and you've got your image now saved so if i open my image now and there you go there's my final youtube thumbnail that we created for my video that was the tutorial for the digital photo professional for software and that's how easy it is to create a good looking youtube thumbnail for your youtube videos free of charge hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it helps you out and thanks for watching the tutorial i hope this video helps you out i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you're gonna have many good hours creating creative youtube thumbnails and if you did enjoy this video do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel gonna have more videos coming up in the future thanks for watching have a great day goodbye